Gospel Figure Review. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. Um, these figures are made by Funko, who make the, the pop figures. Um, this is the first in the line, first series in the line. Um, I'm just going to take a look and show you each one. I'm not going to remove them from the boxes because I'm going to be displaying these in the box. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you Jon Snow. Um, this is the first figure in the line. Uh, as you can see, number one. Uh, obviously, Jon Snow is the bastard son of Ned Stark. Um, he comes with the black hair, black beard. Uh, the facial likeness is okay. Um, you know, it's not the best, but, you know... In terms of the amount of figures that we've got from the Game of Thrones line, you know, it's good. What where these kind of figures really come into their own are with the outfits. Um, they've got excellent detail, really good painting, um, and overall they look really cool. He comes with a scabbard, and he comes with his long claw sword. As you can see the paintwork is pretty good for the size of figure. <clears throat> These figures stand approximately um, I'd say about seven inches. Probably. So that is Jon Snow. On the back there you just get um, um, a picture of Jon Snow in the snow. <clears throat> and then you get a list of all the characters that are going to be released in Series 1 of this Legacy Collection. So let's move on to the next character which is Tyrion. So here is Tyrion. This is probably one of the best ones. Um, as you can see, the the face is more of a likeness than the Jon Snow. So I definitely think they've captured Peter Dinklage in that head sculpt um, and the painting. Um, the outfit is one of the outfits that he wore in season one. And moving down, see just some small boots there. So, I see Peter Dinklage, uh, Tyrion is a small guy, and that's reflected in his size here, which is about four inches. He comes with the axe there, the one that obviously we've just seen uh, Pod receive in season four. At least I believe that's the same one. Um, also you get the Lannister emblem there. Moving on to the back, you get some Peter, um, you get some Tyrion artwork there. Picture of him at the Battle of Blackwater. So maybe the, this is where this character has been designed from. And then you get the list of the characters released in the series. So that's Tyrion. Okay, the next character is the Hound, so he is character free. Um, the Hound's face here. You can see the Hound, there is a bit of scar in there, but again, you know, it's okay. It's definitely not as good as some of the other figures that I've collected. For example, the Walking Dead figures, I think, are probably closer likeness for the majority of the figures. But, again, where this character really comes into his own is with the outfit. So, excellent kind of 
metallic detail. This armour looks genuine, it looks metal, it looks solid. You know, it looks pretty much identical to what he's wearing in the show, which is ideal, really. Moving down, he has dark trousers and then metallic boots, which again look like metal, which is awesome. And he comes with a hound's helm. The, the hound's helm there, which again looks really cool. Um, again, kind of metallic dark paint in there. He also comes with his sword here in a scabbard. And you've got his family emblem there. The hound, flipping over, you've got a picture of the hound on the back in that armour. Um, and then, similar to the others, you've got a list of all the characters to be released. Uh, character 4 is the White Walker. Taking a closer look at him. You know, he looks pretty spot on. Given that he's a white walker, you know, there is no real likeness to capture. They're all different in their own way. But I definitely think he looks like a white walker. He definitely looks like the one in the show. So, pretty good job on him. Um, moving down, he's got kind of a skinny, bony body like the white walker has. Um, kind of details there on the, the belt. Moving down, and then just kind of bare feet with some um, thigh area wraps on there and he comes with his staff you get a picture of Westeros and part of Essos on there uh, White Walker you get a picture of the White Walker on the back and then you get the list of characters again. Um, so yeah, that's the White Walker. Next we have Daenerys, who has um, red packaging. Um, she's number five in the collection. She has kind of dirty blonde hair there. I'd say this character looks pretty good, in my opinion. Um, she's obviously shorter than, than some of the others, which is realistic. Her outfit again kind of matches her Dothraki outfit from season one really well. Um, and yeah, she has dirty blonde hair, which obviously reflects her character kind of at the end of season one, beginning of season two. Um, she comes with Drogon, uh, baby Drogon. I'm not sure if you can really pick him up that well. Yeah. She just come with a dragon. And you get the Targaryen symbol, Daenerys Targaryen. And then you get a picture of Daenerys from season one there on the back. Um, so that's Daenerys. And then finally we have um, Ned Stark. Good old Ned. He's chapter six in the collection. Um, he comes with a large ice and a small ice, one that can be holstered and one that can't. Um, looking at the likeness of the head, you know, you can see Sean Bean in there. Again, it's not amazing, but it, it's good enough. His outfit is fantastic, looks just like Ned Stark's outfit in the show, with the long belt there and the kind of leather looking tunic. And then he's got um, brown boots, and he has a scabbard as well. I really like the the addition of the ice sword, which again has brilliant detail and looks great. And I like the fact that they give you one super large one, which is obviously realistic because ice is huge. And then one that you can holster if you want to do that as well. So you get the Stark emblem there, Ned Stark name, and you get a picture of Ned on the back. 
uh, with all the other characters released in the series. So yeah, that is the the legacy collection from Game of Thrones from Funko. Um, also has uh, Gentle Giant Studios on here as well, so I'm not sure how involved they were in the production of these. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Gentle Giant, I have a lot of their busts. So I'm not sure whether they did some of the work on some of the sculpting here, or maybe Funko produced them. I'm not really sure um, how Gentle Giant are uh, linked to these. If anyone else knows, let me know. So yeah, but overall, really kind of pleased with these figures. It's good to get some more Game of Thrones merchandise. I think the figures um, are pretty awesome. If we just go through them again. They come in cool packaging. They're very much similar to the Star Wars um, Black Series. What, six scale figures? If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, I'd recommend you pick them up. Yeah, I think these are a good investment. The show is, you know, so popular that you can't really go wrong. I think you know these won't lose value at all. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking them up if you can. Um, I got mine from Amazon.com, and I got all the figures delivered to the UK for eighty-one pound, which was. Um, Pretty good in my opinion, it works out at about £15 per character. They retail in England for about £20, so uh, you know that was a, a pretty good deal given these have just been released. Anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a good day.